hope that you're doing fantastic. Thanks for joining for another daily reading. I'm Shannon. This is Apex Tarot Pure Spirit. So if you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, there could be times on my channel that I could come across religious, but I'm not. I'm just spiritual, and I just let the spirit speak through uh, any anything because the spirit created everything. And as long as we're our motive is true and upright and it's truthful and it's not, you know, harming someone and we're being led by the divine of truth to do something, then um, he'll back up what, you know, comes forth through us and um, through anything. So anyway, so I'm going to do a relationship spread. So for those of you who are already in a relationship or you're looking at somebody as relationship material, um, we had a word come out today uh, about somebody looking at someone and... Um, wanting an intimate relationship with them so or for those who already are maybe um needing to revive your relationships if you're returning also welcome back guys i appreciate y'all so much uh sorry that i missed that happy birthday and happy anniversary and all that kind of stuff i like to to say that to you all and um so i hope it's fantastic so anyway let's get in here and i'm gonna do this relationship spread and be looking at this book and um each side has um, same questions, but we're going to look at how one side's feeling and how the other side's feeling, how the relationship is helpful to you and this person, and how the relationship is a distraction to you and this person. If there's outside forces and parties and, and family and exes and in-laws and stuff like that. And what the relationship is teaching you about yourself and how to love yourself and to grow and come up higher. The... Uh, last two cards in the spread is where the relationship is right now based upon all the stuff that we're going to be uh, looking at and where the relationship is going okay so let's go ahead and um let me grab this deck here this is kind of like a little oracle uh, oracle deck it's the angel deck and there's words on I actually used it on um, my first my second reading but actually ended up being my first reading I took my first reading off my channel and left the second reading up as the first reading does that make sense anyway <laughs> thank you sweet divine you know where every card needs to go and we'll clarify if we need to clarify something thank you divine Okay, so we have the four of pentacles coming up, and that's about being a miser. So, obviously, there's been some either holding back, um, being real cautious. There could be work situations, physical situations going on. Um, you know, it's also, though, about laying new foundations and giving to those who are less fortunate. Okay, so we are talking about relationships. And sometimes people go through relationships and then they just kind of grow apart. And then they just, because people do and say things, they hurt one another and they build up walls and they don't want to open up. So let's take a look at each side. Let me get these out here. Okay. So, you pick which side you're on, and remember that energies can flip-flop at any given time as well. They mirror one another. So, this first side is the seven of earth, seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, and unnecessary worry. So, how the relationship is helpful to this side is, is that... There's just a temporary pause. Although there's no opening up, it's helpful to know that you can... The, the Seven of Pentacles is the guy who goes to the bush and he's looking. He can see all of the stuff there. He's dug up one of those pentacles, but there's still a little bit of a wait. Okay, and so laying that new foundation that's showing us at the bottom of the deck is... is you know, knowing that eventually you will be able to open up when, when you're ready. 
okay when, when it's time everything in perfect timing especially with pentacles because pentacles is about time and if you have a lot of earth in your chart anyway you understand that and sometimes it can suck and sometimes it's you know when you grow up it's just like okay this is beneficial for me because there's obviously some things in me that i still need to work out so everything in perfect timing and so how the relationship is helpful to this side is knowing that look i can see some things on the tree but there's still some there's still some other things that you know need to take a little bit more time but it's there uh for the other side You've come into your own new partnerships or contracts continue to move forward. It's it's the fork in the road. Let me turn this light off. Let me fix this real quick. Okay, that's a little bit better. Even though there's a, there's a fork in the road, um, how the relationship is helpful is to know that you got to move on. Okay, it, that uh, there's new partnerships here around you. Things need to be worked out. The two of um, Wands is also a negotiation card. So both sides have negotiation energy up on it, um, knowing that you got to work together. We're at a fork in the road, but there's still a little bit of waiting time. I'm sitting here. We need to negotiate, work some things out. But we're coming into our own, and it is time for us to move forward and uh, to make these contracts. And eventually, after everything's you know, worked out, then uh, we're ready to go. So this is actually positive. So how the relationship is a distraction, <laughs> probably having to wait. Well, the star, the exposure of things, um, maybe healing, things that need to take place for healing to occur. Uh, it's a distraction um, because there might be people around you that even through the waiting and everything you still have to stay optimistic because the card is about optimism um maybe there hadn't been too many happy times because of people being around or whatever has happened within the partnership or the relationship has caused you know this obviously this waiting this having to come into your own so how it is an is a um distraction is there's healing that's taking place and that needs to take place so and pentacles is about time and healing and health and, and things like that so but it states that there's long-term plans here and you're on the right path and so that's positive that that's coming out and um, I guess if you're on the outside looking in on somebody and they're also of interest then to you, there is um, what's hard for you is to be optimistic through watching something going on. I mean, I guess I got to hit energies. I mean, there's obviously partnerships are here and that's affecting other people as well. Um, this side is having to leave the mind. Okay, so it's kind of mirroring itself. The Six of Swords is, you know, things looking up and the end of difficult situations. So there's been difficult situ situations that's taken place here. Needing to heal. That is what is um, a distraction. The healing process itself. The waiting. The negotiation. How do we move forward? We, we are coming into our own, but there's outside forces for some of you all that is um, causing the mind to have to just tone some things down and move forward in a direction for um, you to, to get out of that difficult situation. It states, though, on this card that things are looking up. Well, we know that because the um, star is here. It says to take a trip. Maybe you need to take a trip and get your mind off of it that way, okay, to get out of the distraction. So what the relationship is teaching you on this side, how to love yourself, is um, the Ten of Cups. How to open up. The Ten of Cups is overflowing abundance and water and your heart chakra and joy. And it's just connected to your community and your uh, family and uh, it's teaching you how to love yourself and to love your family life. And uh, to be a trustworthy person in a relationship. So whatever the, the problem has been where people have, have been either too frivolous or cautious about, you know, opening up or being too open. Because we do have the star and things that have been exposed. Okay. Um, right or wrong, it's there. Okay. You got to heal from it. But both parties know that there's 
healing that's, that's taking place, needing to leave the mind from that space so that you can uh, be whole again. We had a word today uh, on my other channel, or I guess I could say on this channel, I don't know what channel I'm uploading this video to yet might upload it to all of them but the word was being whole and complete and that's that's the goal it's for us to transmute those things that come along because nobody's perfect everybody has done something and you really find out who you are if you are moving forward like it says coming into our own and being willing to wait and i see something on the tree uh, I got one pentacle, um, but I know that I, I must wait because I want to pick it. Because even if you pick something off of a tree in the natural, uh, you got to set it up in your windowsill for the sun to hit it so that it's completely ripe. So either way, if you go ahead and pick it, you still got to wait. Or you're going to, you know, especially if, you're, if you've are if got certain fruits that you pick off of a tree and you eat, give you a tummy ache. Okay, so it won't pay off for us to rush a thing because the divine has everything in perfect timing because he's also trying to work things out in other people to grow up because ultimately the divine wants everyone to be whole okay and that's not always easy when you're seeing childish behavior around you and other people are still in their envious jealousy or spewing out the mouth and it's just like you you gotta you gotta prove yourself and how mature you are and um i'm not saying not to give a what for <laughs> sometimes it's all about being patient and listening to the spirit for one thing and um Anyway, so this side, how it's helping this side is um, to look at traditional viewpoints. And um, this is the hierophant here. It's teaching this side how to be spiritual and practical. How to um, seek mentors and like-minded friends that can help out in situations. This is counselors and teachers and people that of high regard or how to look at how to have a, a spiritual um, discernment on what, you know, because we got people in the earth that are spiritual mentors and teachers that have also been wolfy around us. Or maybe maybe per maybe purposely and maybe not purposely, but it's it's ended up that way because of things that have been passed down. Okay, and we're, that, again, we're learning how to unfold things and what is the truth and balance things out. Okay, and be patient and work through it and negotiate things. It's important. It's important. People can't come together and talk. And you're just going to sit there and pout all the time. You're not growing. And, but this is teaching the other side how to um, really look at traditional view viewpoints and um, be truthful within it. Be spiritual and practical. So the um, position of where the relationship is right here, right now in all this is the lovers, choices. Obviously, choices on both sides if you're negotiating, but to move forward, to love. These are people that are supposed to be in your life. We spoke about this card today. This is intimate relationships, and that's exactly the word that came out on the video that I did on you know what to do, and you and I do know what to do. That our knower is on the inside of us for a reason, to for us to really learn who we are, who other people are, and learn how to be patient to make those correct decisions so that we don't get the devil card, because the devil card and the right of weight, they look the same, but one's the devil over them, and one's the a blessed union and so this is uh, where the relationship is right now decision making good health decisions weighing those decisions being careful okay with this intimate relationship because some things have happened to some people that have been in uh relationships that are real touchy it's real touchy and uh, real hurt it's just if we're talking about health stuff and we got pentacles out here it's a real physical stuff then some people have been wounded really deep and just like in the natural if you're in the hospital or something like that you just can't just go yank it up on somebody it takes time to heal and time heals all wounds uh if you're willing to be patient if you're willing to grow up then time will heal okay uh you either you're either mature or you're not and so this beautiful in where the relationship is going is we got the will of fortune it's positive uh, and it's going to go either way because there's going to be people around you and I every single day that won't open up because they're not willing to take a risk. They're not willing to, uh, for whatever reason, but they just, they, 
they're they're stubborn they are childish they don't want to grow up their mind's not able to handle certain things because of whatever i mean if if, if you've got if people around you that have literally just given their way over to things that they shouldn't have then they're not they're they're not the, the wheel's going to go the other way for them it'll be not good luck it'll be bad luck there's law there and uh but this for people who are really putting the work in obviously people are learning but we got hospitals and stuff right here showing up so for some people it's learning that some people need a hospital okay and so these people are going to show up here with this uh will of fortune energy in that direction okay uh, hopefully so that they can find hope and healing if it's if it's possible for them some people it's, it's just not going to be and that sucks but it, everybody has their own choice okay uh, but this positive for those who know and understand and are looking at marriage material and stuff like that. If you're not married, we are seeing beautiful energy for that um, on both sides on how it's teaching you to love yourself and others. And we've got, you know, home life and family and marriage and commitment showing up on both sides of that. So um, where this is going is truth. Travel. Learning the lessons, the higher mind, inevitable fate with the with the will of fortune. Um, it says a time of positive change. If, we, if you keep growing, it's positive. The future looks bright. Um, things suddenly, when it's time, it's just like you go out one day and you look at the bushel. It's like, yeah, it's there. And you go back and check the next day. And it's like, oh. Oh gosh, it's it's ready. <laughs> it wasn't ready yesterday, but it but it is now. It's perfect timing when to pick from that tree. And it says a situation that suddenly moves forward, and that's how it's going to happen. The device says, "Okay." And just like yesterday was uh, February, and today's March. Just like that, in its time, it will arrive. Okay. And so uh, the future, the the fortune is on your side when we walk in truth. And when we love with all that we have and uh, even in our moments of losing it, if we go make a thing right, right then and there, even if you pick from the tree, you know, because that's about being balanced. That's about being patient uh, with the will of fortune. But even if you do pick from the tree and you go, ah, I shouldn't have done that. All right, well. I'm at least willing to put it in the windowsill and look at it from that point of view and get a higher perspective. This about our higher mind with the will of fortune and learn something from that. But at the same time, the, the grace of the divine will still allow it to ripe right there in the window of learning. So it's positive uh, what's coming out here. So I think I'll just leave this uh, video right here because I'm already in, in um, seven 17 minutes here. I just uh, picked up this card in the middle of this deck and there's divorce issues for some people and that's what makes it hard as well. Okay. Uh, and then I was childish. Somebody was childish and somebody's unhealthy. Well, we've got energies here of hospital stuff. Okay. People really go through some things and they really get hurt at a deep level and I understand what that feels like. I understand just to be personable because I am with you all when I went through uh, my situation with the person that I spent many years with I was hurt to the core really hard I have many 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 days that I just bawled my head out but you got to get that stuff out of you you got to be willing to eventually just get up and say I can't do this I just cannot do this day in day out day in day out you're wasting time you're wasting other people's time you're putting boundaries around other people because you, you know it, you, you, you just do okay you got to work through it because you do have moments where you get bitter through that kind of stuff but, but you've got to finally get up and, and grow up okay and open up and not be afraid to i've learned that when you do decide to be open and transparent that real healing comes from that that that's a place of um that'd be like having the light on being able to see i don't have anything to hide this is me this is my process this is where i've come from and in so we got fire for the outcome Okay, we actually got something that is about bouncing and having all four elements within it. But it is a fire energy, and it's a movement energy, okay? And um, fire burns, but it cauterizes a wound, 
okay? And uh, you can even go in the hospital and they use those, ra the lasers to do surgery and stuff like that. And it, and it burns and it cauterizes, but it, but it still, it, it makes you whole. However they do those, those, you know, there's all kinds of different kinds of operations that people go through and all kinds of different situations and things that we can liken things to. But when you're willing to just open up and say, this is it. I mean, th this is what it is. This is how things have happened. I'm willing to look at it so that I can heal. Okay. If somebody's bleeding beside you and you're not willing to help that person just because, there's something wrong with you. We got to be willing to help one another in truth, even if it hurts, even if the person is so just out of whack and whatever, be patient with those people. Okay. Cause for whatever reason they are hurting on the inside. They do need somebody to understand them, okay? Unless, like I said, those people are just so hateful. They don't care. They've just given in to bitterness. Those are the people that really need to go into mental institutions then. They need to get out of society, okay? They wouldn't be the first person that ever cried, but some people just keep, like I said, just keep going down, 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 down. They're not willing to open up or get up and finally say, I can't do this anymore. I'm going to start talking about it. I'm going to heal from that place, from that place. Um, you got it both ways, okay? So, anyway, we got to be generous with one another. So, this is beautiful reading, I think, what came out. Um, slowly learn how to let your walls down. Slowly learn how to love again. And it first starts with loving the Creator and accepting what karmic activity really is about. Because I spoke about that on my channel today, about how we wake up and we're healing past karmic stuff that our forefathers did and what we did in the past as well. It's in the uh, DNA itself and we're healing the DNA. We're learning how to pull down pain from the mind and transmuting that stuff and leaving it all behind and not looking at it anymore. And, and, and when you do have to look at it, it's only to teach from that place because Jupiter is about teaching, learning and teaching and teaching and learning. What, what else are you going to do? Don't you want to be a winner? Because the divine says right here that fortune will be on your side if you're willing to look at it. Shalom, y'all.